Alright guys, time to wrap things up with a lovely dessert. Super mom Paula Henderson is back. She's our health coach on Cup of Joe and she's really a super mom. She's been doing some fantastic stuff. When Paula comes together, three, four ingredients and then she just creates this wow dish or this wow dessert. Yes. One, two, three, four ingredients yes. I'm seeing. Yes, and I really like because I don't have time, you know, and I know <laughs> mothers out there don't have time. Yeah, yeah. And I just want to make it as simple as possible with the least ingredients and you put together and that's the and end that's of it. that. And, and, and yeah. oats, Paula, is, is, I mean, it's such a fantastic thing. Yes. We did overnight oats to start the show off and Paula is using more or less some of the same ingredients to do a dessert. Yes, uh, yes. You, uh, you, you said you, you give your kids oats. Oats every day, almost. <laughs> yeah, it's it's heart healthy and yeah. it's just it's a complex carb, which means that when it's digested, it is going to um, burn off very slowly. Right. You know, and yeah. it's not going to spike your blood, and it's going to keep you full for a longer for period longer. of time. It really does. And yeah. um, it's it's so wonderful. But I really recommend getting the the whole oats rather than the quick oats. Right. The, yeah. 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 So yeah. because this has the nutrients intact right okay right in right, there right interesting so um yeah overnight oats is is a win-win yeah. in my house win -win. so, <laughs> so what are you doing? yeah so this is a quick little snack um yeah. that i give my kids um especially for as a dessert when they want when the sweet tooth kicks, yeah, in. kicks in yeah um yeah. so basically yeah as you see it's just these three ingredients i mean you can really mix it up with more if you want um but today i'm just gonna use this not to complicate so i'm just gonna use some oats um hair yes cup. yeah yeah mm -hmm. and then you just want to put um well this one here is almond butter oh so it's not peanut butter no i this one i did with peanut butter but i'm just showing you that you could really use whatever you have at home right, you know right, right. um you can also do it with dates if you blend up dates right. and put it in there um, with a little or maybe some honey or anything like that right. you know i always like to balance out because um with a little bit of sea salt um and that's it so we just chocolate? The, you can put the chocolate in or you can leave it for the top right, just for the top. right? so this is like a no bake dessert Serious. so we're not baking anything we're just going to um mix it all in and One. you say you can use regular peanut butter here as well? Yes, and if it's not sweetened, you can sweeten it with um, some honey, would be really nice. Right. Um, and then once it's mixed in, you are just going to put it into just a dish and into the fridge, or if you want it like now, <laughs> yeah. you can put it into the freezer. Right. right. And it just kind of comes together. And, and yeah, together. you just press it down. Yeah, so it just it just holds together into the in the fridge, and um, it hardens. It hardens. And once it's hardened, you so we'll just we we'll we'll just pretend this is, or maybe not. You could just add in your chocolate. Um, you can just drizzle some chocolate at the top. You can um, put maybe some nuts, right. some seeds. You can get creative with it. If you, you can need, just get yeah. creative, or whatever it is, or you can just spread the whole chocolate over it if if it is that right, you're a you want it chocolate, yes. yeah, chocolatey. Um, yeah, too much chocolate. Yeah, I just add. A, I like to top it off with a little bit of sea salt, so that way the trick with that is that when you eat something sweet, you don't automatically um, go for something salty right after. You know that effect. Like when you have something salty, you have to have something, something sweet, sweet after. So it balances out your blood sugar levels. Um, That's because of adding salt sometimes. It's, it's, it's sweet, it's sweet salt. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So it kind of just balances out, and your 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 blood doesn't spike. Right. So okay. and that's it. And then you when when once it's in the fridge or freezer, maybe for about twenty minutes or so, you just cut it into whatever little bars. And I get and so, this. And that's it. And I get this. Yes. Um. So 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 Paolo is two for one. You got a super mom. And the health coach. You see all, all the health stuff we got in the last five minutes there from Paolo, plus a super mom dish that you can create nice sweet bite for your kids after homeschooling for the entire day. This is a perfect little yes. dessert snack for them. Um, and, and, and then before they, they get sent off to bed. All of this looks lovely. This is peanut butter. That one is peanut butter. You know as I like well. peanut yes. butter, yes. Yeah. 
Yes. This is really good. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't be so simple. Yeah, it's, it's really simple and you can what you can do if you want to add in more protein to make it like a protein bar, mm. add in some protein powder, one of your favorite protein powders in it. Chia seeds is great. Mm. And there you go, you have a complete protein um, bar 